Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you guys a comic advice video, as I promised in the last video that I made that I would do. That was a weird sentence. But uh, yeah, the topic that I chose is uh, about the very common advice that you might get if you're a beginner comic maker, is, uh, which is that uh, when you're starting out, you really should not make your big Magnus Opum 1000 page comic, uh, the one that you start with. You should start with a short one, like a 20 page mini story first. And um, honestly, if you follow comic discussions on social media, um, every now and then when the topic comes up, sometimes people actually get into arguments about this, uh, this advice, because some comic professionals, um, especially indie comic professionals, uh, many of them think that this is very elitist advice that uh, actually deters people from starting comics because you know it's like if you want to make a comic just do a comic don't worry about how long it is and they started with a really long comic as the first one and it was fine so it's stupid advice and I can understand that uh, argument also, uh, which is why at the end of this uh, video I'm gonna kind of give the opposite argument of my advice that I'm gonna give, <laughs> which is the advice of uh, why you maybe should at least consider very heavily to make a shorter comic before your multi-year one that you really want to make because I know we all want to make the big stories, myself included. <laughs> so before we start, uh, I guess I should introduce myself to any newcomers. Um, I'm Minma, I make the webcomic Stand Still, Stay Silent. It's a post-apocalyptic Nordic adventure story. Uh, I make four pages a week. In fact, the art you see me drawing right now is from the newest page that I did, one of the panels I figured would be fun to record for you guys to be the background visuals and before it I made a 600 page comic called A Red Tail Stream and also a webcomic that I then self-published uh, through crowdfunding into a good old-fashioned hardcover book so that's kind of my background, so you know what kind of comic artist I am. And yes, this is my job, I make uh, this webcomic as my profession. And it has been so for the last six years or so, maybe even seven, I don't know. I'm bad at uh, keeping track on years. <laughs> I know what year it is right now, but that's about it. Um, so yeah. Also, I guess I should say that uh, when I was starting to make comics as a teenager, like before my 20s, I gave up on a lot of comics. I wanted to make really long ones, um, but I had no idea how to make comics and I would start them, I would have no plot in mind. I just made some characters and you start the drawing and I had a habit of giving up after about 20 pages and so yeah I kind of have uh, some experience about that also <laughs> so let's start with uh, the main reason why I would say it's a good idea to make a short comic first and uh, that reason is that everybody has about 50 really really bad comic pages in them. Even if you're a good artist, like an illustrator, or you read a lot of comics, you still have a lot of bad comic pages in you. The art is gonna be weird, it's not gonna fit the storytelling format of comics, your writing is gonna be strange, you probably 
you're probably not gonna be know how to start a story or it is gonna be confusing to readers you're gonna forget to add stuff in that readers need because you're just not used to making comics and thinking the way a comic maker thinks and you just need to get those pages out of your system like the way you can just develop as a comic artist is very start heavy bottom heavy i don't know it's very fast in the beginning like you will get really fast good wait good really fast and then you're gonna kind of start plateauing a little bit and you kind of don't want to have your fast development crap at the beginning <laughs> of your 1000 page story um, because the problem kind of becomes that you're gonna be stuck working on that for the next 10 years and it's most likely going to look like a completely different person made the beginning of the comic like the first chapter or two and uh, it might be really confusing it might look really unappealing and that's going to repel new readers who find your comic and try to get into it and they might just give up before they get to like chapter 3 where it starts looking pretty good or at least passable to the point that it's really enjoyable and fun but that's gonna be a really unfortunate situation to be in for many many years until you get, can you know finish that comic and start a new one and obviously this is kind of the situation where a lot of uh, especially when comic artists kind of start redrawing the beginning of their comics i'm sure if you've ever read web comics uh, long form ones you see this happening a lot the comic artist starts feeling trapped with how the start looks then they become sad about the whole comic because of it and then they start redrawing the beginning and usually the comic dies within the year of that <laughs> because it just doesn't work out for various reasons like 90% of the time sometimes it does work out but usually not and that is a good topic actually for a whole other video another video that was weird to say for some reason um, the whole redrawing the beginning of your comic <laughs> something that I believe you should not do except in very rare specific scenarios but yeah I'm gonna save that for another discussion but that's kind of what causes that um, jumping into a huge story um, without letting those ugly pages out first and it's honestly kind of like if you went to a abandoned house and turn on the water faucet to drink some water it doesn't really matter how nice the house is when you turn the water on it's probably gonna be murky and moldy and disgusting and undrinkable for like the first couple of minutes and then it's gonna be kind of fine pretty fast right and it's the same with making comics you just need to let that first few minutes of gross water out and really quickly it will become at least drinkable and then slowly it will become clear and nice and professional uh, professional drinking water <laughs> so yeah think about it like that and if 50 pages for you know a short story comic to start with is too much even 20 pages is like enough to at least let the water out that is going to kill you <laughs> then you can drink a little bit of the muddy gross water that at least is gonna keep you alive um, i think that's a pretty good pretty good uh, what's it called i don't even know what that's called anyway uh, that's reason number one let the first horrible pages out on something other than your uh, magnum opus even if it's just 20 pages let it out um, then reason number two why it's a good idea to start with a short story first is uh, 
more of a mental one and that is um, you know it's nice to feel that you have ever finished something if you're in school or have graduated recently um, it's very likely that the only projects that you have finished uh, have been stuff that uh, are not self-imposed like somebody makes you do the projects and those are way easier to finish uh, than something that you make yourself finish and you're ne if you're never finished something out of your own pressure and want um, it's definitely something that you should experience once before you try to do it with a massive project because there's a lot of self-discipline that uh, goes into it and it can be really scary to get like one year into a project which is usually the year when first time webcomics tend to die and kinda hit that spot where it becomes really difficult to continue and you lose your motivation you lose your belief in yourself and most importantly you lose the belief that you can finish this because you have never finished anything before on your own without being forced to do it by like a teacher or you know teacher <laughs> or a parent <laughs> and uh, that's kind of important to do at least once and Honestly, it doesn't even have to be like a comic. If you're ever finished writing a short book, a short no novel, I think it's called in English, a story, or you made like a indie music album, or tried to make a little game, or any kind of creative project that you made yourself do and you finished it, like that's good enough to get you, you know, that same mental point of I'm able to finish things and yeah that's gonna help you a lot because uh, that, was really, that was like my biggest struggle when I was in my early 20s and I really wanted to make comics seriously all I really had was uh, a string of uh, abandoned comics from my teenage years except for like one that I finished barely <laughs> That was 20 pages long and yeah I was really discouraged by that because I felt like maybe I just don't have the personality to be able to make anything more than like a one-off illustration. I just quit everything I start and that was a tough hurdle to get over with. I was trying to make a, a long comic but uh, yeah having like that one comic that I had finished once years before <laughs> was very helpful for my um, mental state mm. mental self accomplishment image so yeah that's uh, row number two you get some mental help from it um, then reason number three why it's a good idea to start uh, with a shorter comic is more of a specialized one and for those of you who maybe aren't really aiming for just making like independent comics in the future and you really want to be hired by somebody to make comics in the future or want to use comics as part of your art portfolio in general and in those cases, it's actually way, way better to have shorter comics that are finished to be able to show to people. Or not even show to people if they're really ugly, just tell people at like comic conventions or social media or wherever, wherever else you might be talking with um, comic professionals who are looking to hire new people. Like being able to say I have finished a comic before even though it was just 20 pages is probably better than saying I'm currently working on my own comic I've been working on it for a year and it's not finished yet but I'm 
really excited about it being awesome 10 years from now. <laughs> and, and that's because um, artists and especially comic artists and especially especially independent and web comic artists kind of have a bad reputation for being really flaky and unreliable and quitting projects that they start and that's obviously not something people would want to hire to make their comics <laughs> and if you can show or even say that yes I have finished comics before even just one um, that's really good to have in your portfolio and even better if you make like a few little comics to start practicing maybe like a 120 page comic that just is horrible and ugly and the second one that's also horrible and ugly and the third one is maybe like pretty good and the fourth one is decent you know that's 80 pages if you make two pages a week you're gonna have those done in 10 months not even a year and that fourth 20 page comic that's like nice it would be an amazing part of your portfolio like a thing that you can link to people um, to show what you can do like you can show that you can make a comic cover you can make uh, the beginning of a comic you're good at like the action in the middle or whatever drama kissing <laughs> whatever <laughs> and you're able to draw an ending that's interesting looking and like um, emotionally evocative and you're able to wrap things up nicely or if you go to comic conventions you can make like a cheap printout of your comic and uh, like something that you pay like one dollar per printout and just bring like 20 of them to comic conventions and give them to editors and stuff like they maybe don't want you to give them a thick portfolio to carry around but if you're gonna give them a comic like hey i made this comic here's one for you for free like they might take it and they might remember you from it like it's a mix between a business card and, and a portfolio except even better like that's a really good thing to have if all you have to show is your unfinished webcomic that is not gonna maybe ever get finished uh, maybe they'll see that you're good at drawing but uh, they don't know if you have the strength to finish anything and that's really scary for an employer uh, especially in the art field because artists are very unreliable <laughs> it hurts to say because i'm also an artist but i also know that it's true uh, also for myself i used to be very not very but i felt really flaky on the inside at least um, back before my more professional years um, but yeah where was i going with this i started talking about flaky artists oh yeah that was the third uh, upside to making a short comic and um, putting it in a portfolio if you're looking for work um, honestly that's kind of my last like reason for why it's uh, a good, good thing to do honestly like the first one is the big one and the second one is the second biggest one <laughs> and um, I guess we should end the video with telling why actually it's okay to start with a long comic if you really want to like if you're just sitting there itching to draw the comic that you want to draw just do it don't waste a month even doing a short comic because uh, why not i mean the worst case scenario is that uh, well it looks ugly at the beginning then you get good after like page 100 and then you realize that the beginning is so bad that nobody is ever gonna want to read your comic and then you give it up and start another comic like what bad happened there like you gave up a comic but you gained the skill you're better as an artist now you're better as a storyteller and your next comic is gonna be even better 
and most likely you probably didn't even get much of a audience from your first comic, so it's not like you lost a lot. And only the, the only bad thing that can happen is like you get down from it and think that you can't make a comic. And you just need to not think that way. Just continue on. It's gonna be good. You're better now and uh, the next comic is gonna be awesome. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, like, if you're thinking between the two, like, you're not sure what to do and you have like uh, ideas for short comics and you have some ideas for long ones and you're not sure what you should do, um, definitely do a couple of the shorter ones and then continue with the long ones. But uh, the most important thing if you want to do comics is to just start drawing pages. It doesn't matter if it's one page long comics and you make like an anthology out of them. Uh, you can make just humor strips or a horrible long form ugly comic that nobody is ever gonna read. You just need to start drawing. You're gonna get better at uh, storytelling and drawing and you know it's just up from there. And I would say that's um, all the advice I had on this uh, subject. Yeah I think I said what I need to say. Um, in short, I do recommend starting with a short one that you can finish because it's good <laughs> for yourself. And uh, But it's not the end of the world if you just want to jump into a long, long form one and abandon it. And maybe even abandon a few of them as I did. And now I'm where I am. Drawing the comic that I love drawing and making money from it. So yeah. That's it. Um, did I say what I'm actually drawing in the background? I think I did uh, at the beginning of the video. But yeah, it was. Uh, it's actually the last page of this current chapter. It just ended. I drew it today before I recorded this voiceover, and um, my comic is gonna be on a two-week break, as it usually is between uh, chapters, where I will write the next chapter properly and I will draw some buffer pages. Four of them is what I need for every chapter to not end up in a stressful disaster situation <laughs> and just take uh, care of like life chores and whatever else I need to do. And uh, other than that I'm gonna have my drawing live streams on Saturdays and Fridays as normal and over on Twitch I'm having fluff over there too. Uh, welcome if you want to join and uh, I will also have a YouTube video next week and I will probably post the chapter cover next week also so it won't be a completely empty week but yeah um, I also have a newsletter I always uh, forget to mention it um, specifically for telling people when new chapters start uh, I'm gonna link it in the description and uh, you literally just get the email from me or Humming Fluff Studio um, that tells you when the new chapter starts so you don't have to worry about missing the new comics, comic pages coming out and uh, it's also good if you enjoy binge reading webcomic chapters so every time you get the email, like every few months uh, you know that a new chapter has ended and you can read the last one in one sitting a lot of people use it for that reason and uh, I do other than that nothing else for this week I will see you uh, next time for the next video and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>